Okay, start off with a bit of housekeeping and an admission to some omission. We're wondering where the devil are we? We should be around about here. And yet, we are not, are we? You see, after I fell down in this middle room and died to spontaneous gas, I went and looted this room, dropped through here and got into this room. They're wondering, how exactly did I do that? Well, what I did it off recording, because I've got to push start on Shadowplay. What well, did I just tell you? It was amazing. It was splendid. It was impressive in the extreme. It involved, believe it or not, a badger and a bowler hat full of custard. And I'll leave the more discerning amongst you, the more erudite, the more interesting to figure out exactly how that worked. Speaking of things working, you look a bit tired there, son. How about you take a nap? Bloody iframes. This aren't Dark Souls, son. Get out of here. I know, I know. I said this aren't, I know, I know. I hate myself even more than I already did. Okay. I know. Speaking grammar and syntax, it was the one thing I had going for me and now it's gone. I guess it's the noose for me. Okay. <laughs> I know. Like, less than a minute in I'm already resorting to grim humour. I say resorting, it is my wheelhouse after all. What's the point of this room exactly? Is this where Morpheus fought Neo? That we're going to see? Some guy in pyjamas kicking the crap out of a robot? I'd pay for that. Well, I'd say pay for that, I'd probably just watch it. It's a online anime, but still. The fort was there. The fort was there. That looks interesting, whatever it is. I'll tell you exactly what it is actually, it's mine, that's what it is. Okay. I have the beginnings of a plan formulating. I have absolutely no water hours left at all, apparently. Which I didn't keep track of very well at all, now did I? I do have a, have a noise maker. So my current theory is if I shoot one into the corner over there, rapple down on a vine arrow, so I hit the carpet so I don't make noise, grab whatever it is, and repel my way back up, that should, in theory, see me solid. In theory. As long as he doesn't notice the vibe. I, mean, I don't think he would. These things aren't overly observant, thankfully. And that'll do. And the question is, can I get the, uh, the noise maker to go into the corner where I actually want it to go? Is it gonna... Do that! Rebound off nothing and cause him to uh, come this way instead of go towards the noisemaker. That is something I... <sighs> There's something about this particular game that annoys me. In Deadly Shadows, you fired a noisemaker, it created a pinpoint source of noise at the spot where the arrow impacted. In this one, it creates a travelling source of noise, which... <sighs> the, their AI can never seem to decide exactly where it is you want them to go. As a result, they tend to sort of walk backwards along the arrow's path, which is immensely bad if you haven't moved after firing it. I can think of only like one situation and one level in this entire game where a noise make arrow has done what I wanted it to do and you know made a guard walk toward it, rather than backtracking along its flight path toward me. That was in um the cargo level, like right at the beginning, level two, I think it was. Mine. Hmm, I needed that apparently. Oh, it's a cultivator! G game. Don't start this bollocks. Thank you. Because I'm feeling extra British today, so we're going to give it a lot of that. Mine. Glad I can take those back. Son of a bitch, how did you make the stairs? He's already better than a Dalek, apparently. Yeah, can't catch me now, sucker! Ah, didn't need those shins, it's fine. Please don't be a robot out here. There's one patrolling the halls. No, good, he can't see me from there. Good, that's fine. Close those doors. Another perfect crime, basically. I should get back up into the rafters. So I can sneak past these lot. So unfortunately I don't have invisibility or speed, so I can't just dart past them. And I don't have any water arrows to turn him off. Again, additionally uh, annoying. I can hear that one looking for me still, though. That's... That's worrying. I'm hoping it won't come out here. Oh, bollocks. 
I can hear it opening the door already. Run! Did it work? I think it has escaped, son. Thank god those things can't look up. No one thought to give them a cantilever head. Yeah, no danger at all. Everything's perfectly fine. Well, this is a fine mess you've gotten me into. What, me? Yes, you, Gareth. It's all your fault. If only your shins didn't break so easily. Would have made all that screaming as I threw you from the parpet. Well, balcony. Parpet sounds more interesting, though. It sounds vaguely Roman. Which speaks more highly to the architecture of this mansion, I suppose. Right, now, can I actually make this jump, or is it just going to fall straight down and annoy... Ah! So you can grab those bloody beams. Then why the devil didn't you do that when I was trying to grab the beam on the outside, coming into this area? Why do you insist on falling down repeatedly then? Giving the game away nearly. You silly man. Oh, well, never mind. Mine is not to question, mine is the mindlessly adventure. We have uh, established that long ago. I'm just checking, I did actually pick up all the masks. Oh, don't! Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Ho ho! I see that's how it's gonna be, is it? You can piss right off if you think you're falling off these beams now, Garrett. Your spider feet from this point onwards, as far as I'm concerned. That's just a stand, isn't it? That's just a stand. There's one of the masks. It's like a, a bark face done in silver. That looks almost exactly like the bloody stands that hold the rest of the masks. Every time I walk over here, I'm going to end up thinking that I've left masks behind. I'm reasonably certain that I haven't. Reasonably certain. Not entirely certain, unfortunately, but reasonably so. Uh, speaking of masks... Have I really only got one precursor mask? That can't be right. I'm sure I picked up two of those. Hmm. Would I just pick up one mask that was particularly gold and shiny and assume that I got both? I mean, do they, all, do they all have the, like, sunlight design? Is that... I mean, it makes sense for them all to be essentially the same item model. Saving disk space and all that. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser, really, isn't it? Ooh, minor indigestion, because I... <laughs> I got back from work to record this. And I was absolutely famished, so I wolfed down a, uh, a plate of spinach and ricotta uh, torlioni with a spicy tomato sauce, which was delicious, you know, the amount that I actually tasted. I'm not kidding about how quickly I ate or how hungry I was. But uh, as with any food, when you eat large quantities in a short period, the stomach, initially grateful for the influx, begins to rebel. Alright, I got that here still, haven't I? I wonder if I actually get that off the ceiling somehow. Uh huh. And. Ah! Perfect. And onto the carpet. Excellent. Is there really nothing. Oh, this is just the, uh, the way out, essentially. I wonder if I could, like, rope an arrow down there and just smash my way out from up here. Probably not. I imagine the moment I broke the window, like. Every guard and robot in the area would come blazing toward me. And judging by how it ended in the previous level, you have to be inside the courtyard, alive, for a specific amount of time before the uh, mission complete thing triggers. So I couldn't like, leap for it and hope for the best. I'd likely die before mission complete thing. Ooh, what's error? Before the mission complete status activated. Status, status, again. As your preference dictates. Uh, no more moss arrows? Hmm. I am disappointed. Taking all the statues and moving or anything. As they probably would know, my luck. Okay, now I've got at least. No. At least one fire arrow. So. Is it going to be worth blowing up this camera, I wonder? 
I really rather would like to see what's down this bloody hallway. Cause I doubt it's gonna let me sneak past, is it? Wait, nope, no, okay. It's placed in such a fashion that even right here against the alcove it can still see me. Okay. So I couldn't like dart under its field of view, that probably wouldn't work. So I'm gonna have to destroy it if I wanna see what's behind it. Fair enough. I'm ready to look away. Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel like the sound of exploding cameras and the smell of charred metal in the air now is the... Okay. Surprisingly no guards, apparently. I mean, I'm not I'm objecting to this, I'm just... Before I heard somebody there. Not objecting, as I say, just... Vaguely surprised is all. Off. 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 Turn all the things off. 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 And... Off. Perfect. Now. There's obviously a... I'll find you. Oh. Buggering hell. I have absolutely nothing I can use to knock you out, do I? Well, I mean, that's the thing I can, like, stun him with first and then knock him out with. I've got no more flash bombs, I've got no gas mines, I've got no gas arrows. If he actually comes down here, I just gotta pray that he walks in the opposite direction or something. Yeah, it's a guard post, okay. Kinda figured that out, game, but cheers for, uh... Cheers for joining in, I guess. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. There's nothing to worry about. Whatever you do, nobody panic! Apologies if you can hear me scratching my nose and such. Hay fever season is upon us. And as such, my nose will henceforth itch and bloat and make me look like a... a comedy, uh... 1800s drunk. Okay, no switch there. Where does that even go? Into one of the exhibit rooms? I mean, I don't think I want to go into the exhibit room. I'm reasonably certain that doing so would cause me to be instantly gassed to death, but it's quite interesting to think that apparently was an option. Actually, did turning all this off turn the gas off, I wonder? That makes sense, actually. This is like the guard room after all, the security station for want of a better term. So yeah, turning the uh, the gas off from here would make sense, I guess. Hmm. Can I really not? There's no switch at all in here that opens this blatant secret door. Ah, uh, okay. That's um, that's an interesting design choice, I gotta say. No, guess I'll be on my way then, shall I? <laughs> Cough, hoo, 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 to you as well. Where did he even go, actually? Is he further down this hallway? That little swine is, isn't he? Where are you at? With me. I mean it. What are you talking- I didn't do anything! No, I literally did nothing. I've not made any noise. Coward. Why are you suddenly reacting as if I ran tap dancing out into the halls? I quite literally made no noise there at all. Now sure as hell wasn't within your visual range. Because you're not even on the same screen as me. Come back here and fight. No! Basically. Is my reply to that, son? I said no. Never again. Or never to start with, in fact, in this case. Bloody hell. Okay. Ah, oh, my legs are going to sleep as well, that's not good. Oh, it's going to be extremely painful when I stop recording and have to go and stand up and do things. My body is not going to be my friend at that point. Well, not ever really is, but you get the idea. Okay. Okay, I got this. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about at all. Not a dicky bird. 
Mm. Okay, seriously, where the hell are you? I can't see you, you clearly can't see me. What is even going on here? You in there? Again, if you are... How are you hearing and or seeing me? I'm not doing anything or making any noise. You over there? That would make even less sense, in fact. Hmm. No reaction? No reaction. As of yet, anyhow. Who goes there? Who bullshit. Noise? I call bullshit. You saw nothing, you heard nothing. You are nothing. No. Neither am I. I'm still not coming over. Who? That's like the most half assed search ever. Go to sleep. You pain in the ass. Who gave you your Wheaties this morning? Yeah. Okay, switch. No idea what it does, but. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, I hear... Absolutely nothing. Okay, that's... That's different. That door open? Secret door? No. Sure. Okay. That's apparently not a thing. Okay, what exactly changed then when I... Oh, hello. Where's that go? One second. We'll be back for you in a moment, Switch. There's another door to be investigated, don't you know? It's locked. Of course it's locked. Everything's locked. I'm locked. You're locked. No? Also no. Hmm. How about... My key! Of course not, because my key opens basically nothing. Okay. I don't know what you are, or what your purpose is. I'm very annoyed that you're clearly an area on the map, but one that I can't get to. Okay. No! Don't use lockpick on switch. Can I do anything? Can that open the door? Was that like a lockdown switch? Can I get inside now? Is that a thing? Oh boy! No, of course not. Damn my eyes, damn my dreams, damn my bridges. No, okay, let's, uh... Let's go have done something. Perhaps there'll be something new over this way, maybe, I don't know. Uh... Yep! Yeah. Hmm. No, it appears no matter how you slice it, he does not, in fact, have one, does he? Does he? Well, bugger. That was, uh, that was the plan to... Oh, well, never mind. Never mind, never mind. A bit more phlegmy at that time, but you get the general idea. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh... Uh... Did really nothing change at all? I mean... What if the lights are still lit? That apparently did absolutely nothing, which is, uh, distressing. Okay. I thought it would have at least made the room, like, 10% less disco or something, but no, apparently not. That was literally a switch. With no purpose whatsoever. No, didn't you think over there? Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're on to the, uh, the next side, then. Uh huh, whatever you say, Robo Boy. Pop that over there, like so. Right. Oh, for pity's sake, game! Just grab the damn vine. Oh, bugger off, are you close enough to hear that? Stupid robot. I mean, don't worry, I know there's, um, there's literally a hole in the wall, but still. You know, it gets a little ridiculous at this point now, doesn't it? I mean, come on, I could have just been the cat or something. 
I'm actually surprised. Have any of the Thief games included that yet? Like, um, things like cats or dogs or such. Not necessarily as enemies per se, but as obstacles. Like, it's possible to, I don't know, sneak in and startle the cat, and then people come looking to see why the cat's freaked out and gone running. I don't know. Perhaps that would be a bit too obnoxious in, um... Uh-huh. Trust me, I'm terrified, honest. You and your mechanical menace had the ability to look up, I'd really be shaking. And again, we're in perfect shadow, so in theory you shouldn't see me anyway, but still. You saw someone in here a bit ago. No, you didn't. You thought you heard a noise. There's a... Not even a slight, there's a pretty massive difference between that and actually seeing an intruder. I mean, I know, I know, it's... It's a generic sound bite, it's not meant to be taken literally, but even so. Even so. The line must be drawn here. Here and no further. Etc, etc. Hey, buddy. Why would you have an archer patrolling the halls? I, I get the idea, like, he rounds the corner and spots one right at the end of it. He's more likely than a regular guard to be able to do something about it. Long before the intruder has a chance to close the distance. But if him and the intruder meet at a corner, and he's holding his bow and arrow at the ready, he's significantly disadvantaged over your standard guard. He'd be much better, like, standing, like, at the corner, just looking left and right. Well, perhaps a regular guard walked up and down. Well, just leave the mechanical menace here to walk up and down and do that element of the checking and such. And just have him standing on the corners, looking left and right, taking advantage of the whole ranged combat thing. I know I'm giving the people I'm trying to rob security tips. It's messed up. But uh, that's sort of where I'm at at this point. It's like, guys, you're making it almost too easy. Almost, yeah. I'm not crazy. I, I don't want you to make it impossible, but a modicum of common sense. Uh, actually, I'm almost at the end of the game, aren't I? And I still haven't figured out how you do these aerial takedowns or aerial knockouts or whatever. Yep, that's a mask. Yeah, still. I'm still annoyed that it doesn't tell you exactly how much you've got towards your loot total or anything. Again, I'm an element of Deadly Shadows I'm going to keep bringing up that I appreciate is the fact that uh, objectives like that that had um, component elements would be the right term for it, or that were progressive in some way, would actually be uh, demonstrated on the objective screen. Like, I wouldn't have to just keep grabbing loot and like guess how much I got, it would show me how close towards my goal I was. But, uh, it can be particularly irritating in cases like this where I've got to collect XYZ number of masks and uh, the game doesn't actually tell me how many I've picked up so far. I mean if you that wouldn't be an issue if I was like playing uh, the entire mission in one sitting as was like the initial intention when I started LPing this. That would do like one complete run through per session. But considering the sheer length of a lot of these missions, I've just. Oh, that didn't go anywhere near far enough. I've just not simply been able to uh, dedicate like a solid two and a half hours of my life every session to recording a single mission. It's, uh, it's impractical for both recording purposes and editing purposes at the end of the day. Because to sit down and not only play and record two and a half hours, but then properly edit, uh, encode, and upload, it would... It just wouldn't work. It's better to break all like the play and edit and encode sessions down into smaller, more manageable chunks. I mean, if I find myself for like a day free, 
than I have been known in the past to just have a marathon session and just do like four hours of you know footage for whatever game or games are plural I'm doing at the time and edit and process the entire lot in one go like spend the entire day just getting like uh, three or four episodes per game or like six episodes of the one game I'm just doing one all knocked out within the space of a single day and I'll spend like the next fortnight just uploading them and enjoying the fact that I've got nothing in particular to do I can just you know I can go out or I can bum around and watch you know television or yeah spend more time with the uh, with the little lady whichever whichever or whatever strikes my fancy but the way it seems to work these days, especially now I'm working longer hours and such and have more responsibilities, is that uh, I have to be very strict about my scheduling when it comes to doing the LPs and how long I can afford to dedicate per episode and such. Which is why even what used to be... Ooh, was that the last precursor mask? Was that my loot total? I think that might have been my loot total, actually. I think. We'll find out in a second. Yeah. So even what used to be my fairly easy to achieve and regular, you know, once every other day video standard, has, I will admit, begun to slip. As I find myself either too tired to actually do anything, or just simply not having enough hours in the day to get something recorded, processed, edited, and then actually uploaded. Not as I'm willing to leave my PC on overnight, which, uh, if I may be blunt, I'm not. Electricity is expensive. And, uh, even something that only uses really like a 650 uh, PSU, like mine does, leave that running overnight, especially if it's doing something video intensive and drawing a lot of power, that's, yeah, it's not good. Not good. Yeah, I don't think that was the last precursor mask. I think that was probably just me hitting the loot total for this level. Which means the last mask should be in this final room. If there's any, uh, any justice in the world. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just exiting the middle room present, I think. So that should put me in the, in the final one, and then... Actually, I think that puts me in that little area. Um, that little area above the patio, doesn't it? Come to think of it. Oh, I wonder. Did I turn off that camera that was up here? When I turned all that stuff off in the guard post, was that linked to the camera in here, perhaps? You know, on that little... Uh... In fact, what is the point of that little landing above the patio, then? You can't... It's like a guard post on top of the patio, which in itself is a guard post, I don't know. It does seem a little odd now I think about it. A little odd indeed. Yeah, I'll figure it out later. But the point is, I think I should be able to uh, get down there nice and easily now. I can hear the robot freaking out, apparently it heard me make that jump or something. Which I still think is nonsense. Yep, yeah, I'm sure I'll uh, I'll not get away. Definitely not get away. What? You seem to be getting further away. Etc. Etc. Ooh, I'm shaking. I assure you. I you. <laughs> you promise? What if anyone in the history has ever has ever fallen from that? I mean, I severely doubt it, but the curiosity is there. The curiosity is definitely there. <sighs> okay. Onward ever boldly onward. Nope, alright. Nope, nope, that's a... there we go. Ah, okay, that, that is a different model. That's still got all three, but that... yeah, that's a, that's a different model. That's all, like, pointy and shit, and the other ones were all swirly. Although they were all sun motifs, I think. More or less. Okay. I guess we were supposed to be getting a, uh, 
Masaka and Corgano thing from this, uh, this whole experience. Wouldn't surprise me if some of the devs were fans of TNG. Uh, up, please. There we go. I just say, please don't bug out now and stop me climbing the rope. Not when I'm basically done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all I've got left to do, really, is get out at this point. Hmm. Yeah, that should be more or less it, shouldn't it? Just get out of the building and that should be me done. Yeah, yeah, as long as I'm right about where this, uh... Uh, okay. Still, the there's a big area in the middle and an area over there by the guard post that we already mentioned. That I can't seem to get into. There don't seem to be any doors, which is utterly bizarre. Yeah, the more I think about it, the weirder that seems. Why the hell are there no doors? That lead into, like, this middle section. Although, actually, no. Yes? No? I'm just thinking, how high was the ceiling for the ballroom? Would the ballroom ceiling have extended this high? I mean, if it did, that would explain why there doesn't seem to be a middle section to the third floor. It's all taken up by, um... By the vaulted ceiling of the ballroom. That would explain the weird design of these hallways, in fact. They're like, this has been built into what should have been the eaves of the attic. Maybe. Let's try and get a... Nope, too close. Try again. I want to way back up here if this turns out not to lead where I think it leads. Where I think it should lead, at least anyway. Also, I just want a, a quick and quiet way down so I don't either break my legs in the hall or let out an unfortunate noise that causes everyone to come running to my location. Which, let's face it, is uh, entirely too possible. Oop! I think I fell anyway, but never mind. Point still stands, a perfect crime. No, come on. Let's open this door before they come back, please. Nope, no. Nope. Damn it all. So much quicker if I was playing the... I know, I know. I'm going to keep making the damn comparison. If I was playing the Deadly Shadows mini-game, I probably would have been out by now. Then again, the way they handle detection, they probably would have noticed the vine and come looking for me anyway, but still. Potato, potato. Ho 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 ho. Is that a thing over there? Does that lead to the... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to at least have a quick gander, aren't I? Let's be honest. Uh, no. Nothing at all. Doesn't seem to be anything down the hallway either. It's still gonna bug me. Because uh, it looks like there should be something there, you know? Hmm. There should definitely be something there. In fact, I'm going to go and uh, have a quick look. I'll, I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to have a little look online, see if there is supposed to be a room there or something. One sec. Okay. Turns out, um, no. There is nothing there. Uh, much to my surprise, but okay. Yeah, okay. I don't think... What I saw didn't exactly mention... Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I do think it's weird. There are several places in this game where you can clearly see over the edge of walls. I've ascribed some of it to, like, me doing the 16x9 forced thing, but even if it was still in 4x3, you would have been able to see over that wall and see that there was nothing but a featureless, blank, grey expanse where there should have been, like, the texture for, like, a street or something. Well, perhaps that grey expanse is supposed to look like fog on a lower resolution. Because I've upscaled everything, it just it looks like a featureless grey floor, which it shouldn't. I don't know. There are sort of weird, um, unintentional bugs and things you come across when you do these games, uh, revamped and modded and whatnot.
yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan as I sort of, I walk through the building, see if I come across any additional, uh, rooms and such. I mean, there's no doubt this would be somewhere I've gone past without unlocking and such, without collecting the goodies from inside, like this! I could have left without this bag of coins. How we, how are there still people awake in any of these areas? I don't get it. I'm sure I've knocked them all out. House Sergeant's Logbook. Sir Kevin Porter, recording. Or Sergeant, even. We prepare for the coming exhibition with a certain amount of trepidation. We are close to completion, but we are not ready yet. Most of the watchful eyes and metal beasts are in place. Foreman Hobart is still putting the finishing touches on a variety of mechanical creations throughout the mansion. I'm just glad Swan resembled the cuckoo clock before Doomer burst. Stuart Doomer, as usual, is being too demanding. I expect Hobart shall shortly pull out what little hair she has left. Guards have been left. Uh, guards have been doubled on most patrols. All of this together should give us the security we need to ensure that the exhibition comes off as smoothly as possible. <laughs> oh, this is even more hilarious, knowing that I've literally picked the place clean. At least in terms of exhibit, there's probably a few pouches of coins and things that I've missed, and a few pockets I've not picked. It always seems to be the case. I, su I swear that I do look at the guards as they go past and stuff. Just half the time, I seem to somehow miss the fact they've got coin pouches. And after I've knocked them over, it becomes next to bloody impossible to pick the damn things up, assuming I even notice they're there, because of the way the character models fall down. Oh well. Well, I'm not sure if picking up uh, coin pouches and such after... Uh, maybe this way is the, uh, the safest. But yeah, I'm not sure if picking up coin pouches after the bodies have already hit the ground counts as pickpocketing anymore, or whether that's just picking up supplies. Like, you lose the, uh... Probably close this, actually, shouldn't I? Like, you lose the, uh... The chance to get a pickpocket. If you grab the item after they've already been knocked out, like, it doesn't count anymore. And you're just... no, oh, buggering, huh? There we go. If I could, I'd lock the doors behind me as well. <laughs> Actually, no, I probably wouldn't. That'd take too much time. I say, maybe I'm just impatient to leave at this point. I want to go see what the new mission is. Do the new place. I've been in this house for like four bloody hours already. Between the last mission and this one. That's. I, I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I. I don't think this was a smart decision on the devs' behalf to literally reuse the exact same map twice in a row, but giving you one small area extra within the map you could now go to. Don't think that was a smart decision. I'm sorry to say, I just, I just don't. Yeah. Okay. We did well, I think. And uh, all we gotta do now is go on to the next episode. And how did I do? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. See you in the next one, folks.